All right, everybody, what's popping? We're out here in the Power Stroke and Rick Garage. We're back today. We're not wrenching. We're showing you what we use to wrench. Today, we got a full toolbox, tool cart, welding cart setup tour of everything I've accumulated over the past probably 10 years of wrenching, buying tools, you know, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so this has been highly requested. Hope you guys enjoy. Tap that subscribe button. For anybody wondering what I do, which if you watch my videos, you kind of already know. Um, anything from diesels, small engines, big engines, interior, exterior, uh, do it all, fix it all, I'll try to be like that. Uh, my main job title is a powered industrial equipment mechanic, and I work on that stuff, conveyors, all that good stuff. So yeah, we're gonna show you what I'm operating with here. So let's get after it, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dive right into it. So here I have my 2022 60 inch Snap-on Epic Series uh, box. Got this back in October and uh, cause pretty much I outgrew that. I outgrew a couple other boxes. Um, so I ended up with this bad boy right here. So definitely the best purchase I've ever made. Um, yeah, I got a problem. I got a tool problem as we can all see. So we're kinda gonna start at the top here. This is actually a Cobalt three drawer top chest. If you watched my last video about this, I actually got this from my dad when I was 10 years old. And this is when Cobalt came out all stainless steel, so they don't make these anymore. So there's your there's your badge right there. But we're just gonna start kind of right here at the top. We got some cool uh, pictures, you know, gotta have some stuff like that. Uh, this is my G Technique USA uh, ceramic coating kit for my black truck. Um, Back here, got a couple snap-on fender mats, uh, some air hose, some uh, this funnel kit from OEM Tools, various stuff hanging up along the walls, you know, hats and all that stuff. And yeah, we got more toolboxes than this. This is just my whole setup. My dad has a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a whole bunch of shit. So starting off right here, I got my snap-on magnetic bit holder. I got all my Milwaukee bits in there. So ended up picking up that recently. Definitely love it. Um, up top, I got some OEM tool, tool trays, uh, some various oils, grease, acetone, lubricants, anti-seize, brake part, lubricant, et cetera, et cetera. So got all that. Got my little snappy calendar, my snap on, uh, parts tray. That's two of them actually folds out. Uh, so starting off here, got a whole bunch of Allen's, um, Socket Allen's with the, the ball peam, the ball head, not ball peam, ball head socket, some other ones over here. Uh, so we got all that stuff, some feeler gauges in there. Um, and here, some miss, this is like my miscellaneous drawer. I got some band-aids, some wire tools from Snap-on. I ended up picking up this oil filter drain plug tool recently with the magnet on it. I haven't used it yet. Uh, Blue Point. Caliper spreaders, snap-on torch, safety glasses, stuff like that of that nature. And then in here, a uh, bunch of koozies, random stuff, uh, checking for thickness of brake pads. Uh, I got my snap-on radiator hose pick set. I got a long snap-on pick set. I got a short snap-on pick set. I got to fix this guy. I got to fix both of these. I can't be having that. Look at this. Oh, under here. Got my snap-on feeler gauge set, which is really cool. Really like that. Um, and that's it for the cobalt, pretty much. So diving into what we all want to see is inside the Epic. So right now, I will show you guys. Before we go in, I guess I got some underglow lights. I actually picked up from Lowe's. Put them on there. Uh, so yeah, custom built for Power Stroke and Rick, baby. I got this little uh, lock sleeve that goes on there i got it purple honestly i really want to change my trim out to purple i feel like that'd be pretty cool so yeah let's show you some sockets here 
All right. So this is my socket drawer right here. Yep, I got problems. <laughs> so starting back here, we got some three quarter inch snap on standard uh, 12 point, not really used. I got my half inch deep, shallow, metric, all the way up the full set. In between here, I kind of shoved them in between as these are my snap on half inch drive swivel set of sockets all the way from, I think I got standard here and then metric here. They're both like seven piece sets. Uh, I got my deeps, chrome deeps, half inch drive, and then my, sh uh, my shallow half inch drives. Um, same going with over here. We got half inch drive, uh, standard sockets with some shallow standard sockets. Back here, these are all my bigger sockets. These are all half inch drive. Uh, I believe like up to inch and five eighths maybe. Um, so I got them. Over here, coming down the line, we got half inch chrome deeps and then half inch uh, chrome shallows, which you see I'm still kind of building sets around here. Um, right here, do a lot of metric stuff. So I do have a lot of metric in here. Metric's pretty much all over here for the most part. These are my deep swivel gear wrench sockets, 3 8 impact. Got these guys. These are Icon 3 8 shallow impact swivel sockets, 3 8 drive. I think I said that. Um, these are quarter inch drive gear wrench metric swivel sockets. Uh, here's my, I threw this together, 8 millimeter essential and 10 millimeter essential through gear wrench. That's all on one. I got some snap on. Uh, e-torx uh, sockets and then coming down the line we got quarter inch deep and shallow um, which I got to find better better holders for these because I don't know if anyone's noticed these Amazon ones they're not really fit to finish in a good way so yeah I got to find something different but anyway uh, I forget I might be skipping around now three eighths deep impact sockets with some shallows three eighths drive uh, here's my 3 8 drive chromes, deeps and shallows, quarter inch, deep, shallows, and then uh, shallow quarter inch impact that I'm building right now. These are all snap-on. These are some snap-on. Um, quarter inch deep and quarter inch shallow snap-on. Both of those are snap-on. Uh, these are snap-on, quarter inch shallows. Uh, moving over here, we got 3 8 drive chrome deeps all the way down, standard, uh, shallow, standard, and then 3 8 drive, <clears throat> excuse me, impact sockets all the way down, deep, shallow, this is all standard, and majority of these sockets in here, trying to get as much snap on as I can, but like I said, I got all my chrome deeps are Icon, a lot of my half inch drive impacts are anywhere from Husky to Craftsman to Sun X, these are all Sun X, my 3 8 drives, and I really, really like them. I like them a lot. Um, other side over here, this is kind of like some random tie rod sockets, bigger sockets for the Pitman arms on my truck, uh, Super Duty snap-on sockets. Um, some more bigger sockets back here, all half-inch drive. This is kind of like my miscellaneous area, a lot of 12-point in here. I'm not a big fan of 12-point, but... Kind of like some double sets. I just kind of threw off to the side over here. Uh, like I said, some e-torque sockets. These are kind of like my twist sockets right here. Uh, Matco spark plug swivel uh, magnetic socket set. Uh, Snap-on screw extractors. Uh, Irwin Hansen twist sockets. Uh, moving down here. Metric snap-on half or 3 8 drive. Uh, Allen sockets. This is a stud remover from Lyle. Um, this is all Williams in here. These are all my Allen standard and metric, uh, flat blade Phillips, uh, Torx, you name it, it's all in here. Uh, I got some triple squares uh, in here. I got some Lyle tap sockets, some more bolt biters, some twist sockets in here. Back here, I got a big snap on torque wrench laying back there. And then a couple big breaker bars. Um, and here's kind of just some miscellaneous stuff and 
whatnot. This is for a tie rod tool, snap on, and some longer Allen sockets. And uh, yeah, so this is my uh, this is my socket drawer right here. So we're gonna keep on moving on. All right, so that's my socket drawer. Close that guy. And here is my wrench drawer. So basically, I do have a lot of these toolbox widgets. Kind of a fan of them, kind of not. I kind of like them. I mean, I'm rolling with them for now, but this is what I'm operating with here. So kind of, uh, this is all standard on this side. Standard. Um, let's see, I got some ratchet wrenches. A lot of these are Craftsman. Now, these standard from quarter inch all the way up to inch and a quarter. This is all snap-on back here. Um, I got some Sun-X uh, short wrenches. I got a snap-on uh, metric 10 through 19 set flank drive. Um, actually, they're flank drive plus. I should evaluate on that. Evaluate, is that the right word? Probably not. Um, elaborate, yeah, that's what I was looking for. So over here, a bunch of miscellaneous. I got some flex heads right here. This is all my standard over here. Metric on this side. Try to switch everything up. Got a bunch of a metric of metric uh, ratchet wrenches. Same with right here. I got the stubby Sun X wrench set here as well. Um, back here, all just regular wrenches up to 30 millimeter. Kind of mix matched in there for stuff I need. These are some gear wrench, metric, flex head wrenches uh some snap-on half moon wrenches which i actually just picked these up recently pretty cool uh, a lot of off-brand stuff over here like these are some older craftsman set all the way metric i think it's like 27 all the way to like seven millimeter um yeah and this is kind of some crow's feet i got standard snap-on crow's feet and then i got metric which these are crescent i believe um yeah i kind of got a lot of different types of wrenches in here. So this is my wrench drawer for now. Gets me by. Go on down to the plier drawer. All right, so here's a, I'll show you my favorite stuff in here pretty much. Um, exhaust hanger tool from Lyle, awesome. I use that a ton. Uh, my Knipex Cobra water pump pliers, love them, use them a lot. These are some Blue Point uh, radiator hose pliers, pick them up recently um back here this is all my snap-on section so one of my favorites is the ln 47 acf i finally got them in green my snappy guy hooked me up and then i also just picked up the ln 46 acf the little brother in red he didn't get them in green yet so i told him so you better hurry up um so yeah this is a bunch of miscellaneous pliers in here electrical pliers um, I got some pipe wrenches over here. I got a big adjustable wrench. Um, I got all of these adjustable wrenches over here. I got a chain wrench back here. All my vice grips are lined up back here. A lot of this stuff is just old miscellaneous stuff. My snap-on, you know, I got all the, uh, you know, dikes and stuff like that back here. Needle nose, longer needle nose. Um, trying to see what spots out to me that I really like. I mean, I like all this stuff, obviously, but my main stuff, I got some more room right here. So this is pretty much my whole plier drawer, how that's organized. So we'll keep on moving on. All right, so moving down the line, that's my top three drawers right there. Uh, we go in here. I got all my miscellaneous files, punches, all this good stuff right in here. These are the, uh, the speed drawer, whatever they call it. I end up only using two of these dividers. Um, you can kind of split it up into a whole bunch of different sections, but this is kind of what I found worked out best for me. Um, Snap-on roll, roll pin punches back there, a bunch of cold chisels and Fulton punches back here, a uh, bunch of miscellaneous stuff, all punch-wise in this drawer. Um, go down to the next one, which this is my pretty much my hammer drawer and pry bars. These don't belong here. I mean, I kind of have no room for them because they're really long, but I just picked these up. These are some Snap-on Long Radiator Hose Pick Set. Uh, so I kind of got them in there for now. A uh, bunch of miscellaneous pry bars in this area. All my hammers, all the green is all Snap-on. I got the 56 ounce Ball Peam Dead Blow, uh, 40, 32, 24, all that stuff. Got some sledges over here, a uh, bunch of miscellaneous 
kind of hammers, snap on, uh, dead blow, little guy right here. Um, and that's pretty much all the pliers. I just said pliers, I meant hammers. Down here, more kind of stuff I just crammed in here. I got my Lang tools, compression tester set, uh, OEM tools, oil filter socket set. Um, back here, I got my snap-on impact driver set, bunch of bits, spade bits, uh, oscillating tool bits, drill bits, nut drivers. Um, this is a cobalt full bit set. Um, hole saw, uh, Bosch hammer drill bits. I just got a bunch of kind of stuff crammed in here. And we'll go down to my one of my favorite drawers, which is the power tool drawer. Oh yeah, baby. So we got a whole bunch. We got the whole hog. That thing is awesome for working on drilling holes in your frame. Um, Milwaukee jigsaw, three eighths and half inch, 18 volt impact. A bunch of half inch drill driver, hammer drills over here. Um, snap on, or snap on. Milwaukee oscillating tool, 12 volt cutoff wheel. 3 8 right angle impact, uh, half inch ratchet, 3 8 ratchet, soldering gun, my favorite, snap on air hammer. I picked this up around Christmas time, got a good deal on it. I love it. The new 3 8 snap on brushless impact. Love this thing. Um, 3 8 snap on ratchet, quarter inch snap on ratchet. These are both brushless, newer. Uh, Milwaukee 3 8 stubby. Quarter inch Milwaukee hex driver. I got two of them actually. One is the um, hydraulic one, which, what is the name for that? Impact driver. I forget the damn, what's the name? Oh, the Surge. The Surge. Yep. That's what it is. So, bunch of miscellaneous. Too much Milwaukee tools, pretty much. As you can see, I've been dipping my hands in some snap on, but I do love the Milwaukee. So, Show you what else we got. This is all my my full snap-on screwdriver set, which it comes with a lot of the longer ones. Uh, I got a bunch of snap-on little pocket screwdrivers in there. Uh, I picked this up recently, the long um, trim tool removal set from Snap-on. Uh, a couple other miscellaneous snap-on things in here. I got a couple ratcheting screwdrivers, some longer ones, uh, full nut driver set. This is all standard snap-on nut driver set in here i got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff shoved in here some screw starters for really tiny screws that you're in a tight area um i actually picked this up not this guy well yeah this is a cotter pin tool from snap-on and then i picked this up last week which is the new well not new but the carbide tip scraper for like gaskets and stuff like that so i'm excited to try that out so that's that drawer Here's all my ratchets. Uh, I got a couple torque wrenches in here. Uh, I've been wanting to upgrade a snap-on for the bigger half-inch drive. I haven't yet. Um, I do have a couple snap-on torque wrenches back here. Um, let's see what else we got. This is kind of all my snap-on. My go-to is my 3 8 locking flex head. Longer guy. I love this one. Um, and my other go-to is my locking quarter-inch flex head ratchet. Um, a bunch of other miscellaneous snap-on ratchets here. The one that was my favorite one is this one was my grandfather's, and the date code on it is 1968. And if you notice, the locking mechanism on and off is on that side instead of this side. I have no clue why he did that because you just got to flip it around, but that's definitely a keeper. So this is the new 3 8 locking flex head snap-on ratchet. Very long, very long guy here. I like this one a lot. Um, yeah, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Got my like spark plug, flex head, bent angle ratchet, couple of regular 3 8 ratchets. I got the multi position 3 8 I also have the quarter inch multi position 3 8 I'm sure everybody can tell by now my obsession is snap on green. This red 3 8 flex head is kind of kind of not fitting in too well, but we're working on it. So that's kind of a uh, all my ratchets right there. Down in here, a bunch of uh, random stuff. SK um, socket set for like Torx bits and stuff like that. Right up there. 
Um, snap ring pliers off Amazon. My favorite is the Pro Max tool that I recently got. Ford Power Stroke 6.7 EGR Delete. I'll just leave that in there. Um, ball joint Maddox set from Harbor Freight. Tap and die set. Uh, some jigsaw blades. Some nut drivers. Uh, waterproof seal butt connectors. Shrink tubing. Different various O-rings in here. Maddox tie rod separator set. Below this, I have, I'll just move it for you guys. Let's see. I got a Pittsburgh Master Ball Joint adapter set for my ball joint press as well. Below that, I got a big tap and die set all the way up to like 16 millimeter and I forget what size standard, but a couple oil wrenches laying around in there. Um, I got a Dremel right here. Kind of miscellaneous stuff in this store as well. A lot of blow molded cases. So that is it for the snap-on box and the cobalt. So now we're going to show you the Craftsman and the good old welding cart. All right, so the Craftsman, we'll start right up on top up here. Got a hammer. I love getting nailed by you. Pretty cool gift I got. Some gloves. Uh, cool hat right there, Mr. Fix Shit. Um... I got my snap-on chargers, I got my Milwaukee chargers, a bunch of stickers, as you can see, some pictures, some business cards. I got the full Easy Red light set right here off Amazon. I love them. Use them as a headlamp. Got my friend Bob. He's just chilling. Built him. Got some stickers, various stickers and magnets. Astro uh, light. I love this. Magnets. Snap-on light. Icon light. Uh couple towels, pistons, a bunch of used miscellaneous stuff up here. So start out right here is more screwdrivers because I got way too much. I got a whole Milwaukee set. I got a full electrical set right here. Craftsman all in the back. So torque screwdriver, a bunch of miscellaneous in there. Not miscellaneous, but a bunch of screwdrivers. Uh, in here, it's kind of like my miscellaneous drawer. I got my Caliper gauges, scrapers, batteries, pens, all a bunch of random stuff in there. Uh, and here, I got more Allens. I got a snap-on metric set Allens right here. I got some long T-handle Allens. Pretty much a bunch of these bad boys right here. That's in there. I guess I'll stay on this side. This is all my extensions. Um, Three-eighths, quarter, half-inch wobble extensions, Icon. And then you name it, I just got a bunch of them in here. Speed handle. This is all like my impact extensions back here. Uh, some locking blue point ones in here. Um, just a bunch of extensions I've accumulated over the years. Too many extensions. Then in here, be before I continue with this, this this box got em this thing was full to the tilt before I got this. So I got some. I got more room in here. So. For more tools to buy, which is a good thing. So you're going to see some emptiness and kind of some junk floating around. So bear with me. But here, I got to pick these up recently. The uh, Snap-on um, trim tools, trim removal tools. Where they got this little rubber indent right there. I thought those were pretty cool. Some wire ties. And this is kind of like all my trim tools and stuff. Uh, different various trim tools and stuff like that. So in here... Um, good amount of dirt bike stuff in here. I got like kind of my measuring, my levels in here, my tape measures, a um, bunch of various stuff like that. Some Motion Pro T handles. Uh, this is for doing fork seals on dirt bikes, uh, filling the fork seal fluid, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Plum Bob. Everybody needs a Plum Bob. The Egyptians use this shit. You know what I'm saying? Wise man once taught me that. Go down there. Let's see what else we got. More miscellaneous. Cock gun, rivet gun, fishing tape. Uh, this is actually for doing a steering stem bearing on PW50s. I got this kit. Uh, this is probably, I probably got this Stanley socket set when I was like six or seven maybe. I don't even know how old I was, but that I'll always keep on to, hold on to. Holds a little place in my heart, so yeah. All right, we'll shut that drawer. Keep on going down. Junk. I got a stethoscope, gloves, Bosch, uh, laser level. As you can see, I have 
more room for more tools. So this is kind of my air tool drawer minus the snap on air hammer in there. Uh, my Husky air hammer is what I used to use all the time. Chicago pneumatic right angle grinder, a lot of Ingersoll and Rand, cut off wheels, uh, snap on drill, um, needle scaler, um, longer straight die grinder, a bunch of stuff like that. Staple gun, uh, all my air hammer bits in here and some, uh, not cut off wheels, but sanding discs and all that miscellaneous stuff along that nature. And here, that five inch, ex five inch exhaust clamp, some hose. This is the AirVac coolant refiller from OEM Tools for the power strokes. Awesome buy on Amazon, very cheap and affordable and it works great. So I got that. Down here, um, this is kind of like my puller drawer, stuff like that. Uh, even though I do have a Milwaukee bandsaw in here, I have my Matco heavy duty pitman arm removal tool, which this thing is awesome for the super duties and power strokes and all that. Um, various three jaw pullers down here, chain breakers uh, for, for your fuel pump on your gas tank. Um, I got some spring compressors down there, pitman arm tools. This is for the, the hub, the, I forget the damn name, but seal on the the seal on the hub of uh super duties uh ball joint removal tool for four wheelers and dirt bikes and tie rod separators they're all kind of down on the bottom bunch of miscellaneous pullers and stuff like that all right so back in here i got my air blow gun different electrical tape different sizes zip tie cutters tube benders tube cutters some sawzall blades, stuff of that nature, caliper hanger tools, stuff like that. Down here, pretty open, all my Loctites and different gasket sealants and all that, dielectric grease, some brushes, pretty open, kind of just threw the stuff in here. Going down, this is like my main big junk drawer. I got some push pins, uh, I got some hose clamps, I got a bunch of miscellaneous nuts and bolts since I'm a hoarder. Bunch of different miscellaneous metric taps that I use all the time. There's actually some overflow bigger wrenches in here. Wire loom, uh, sanding discs, everything kind of just junk drawer pretty much. Here's my electrical drawer. So I got a couple of fluke meters. I got a bigger fluke meter right here with all the uh, attachments. Um, I got my Innova OBD2 scanner right here. I really like this thing. I use it a lot. Um, stud finder, uh, Maddox, it, uh, bleeds that pull out, you know, you extend them for however long you need, snap on, circuit tester, uh, spark plug tester, um, battery tester off Amazon, TPMS, relearn tool off Amazon, uh, another little, uh, OBD2 check engine light tester I got in there. Some Klein stuff in here. I got an amp clamp right here, a Klein. I got a thermometer, a uh, little fluke stick meter right here. Bunch of uh, miscellaneous stuff. Some solder in here, some fuse pullers. My snap-on uh, soldering little wire thing together, whatever you call it. I like that a lot. It's pretty cool. Down in here, again, miscellaneous. Big hook, map gas, blue point um hub scrub kit pretty much i just got this recently i just used it the other day um it works pretty good i like it so 3m tape um heading on down below i got uh, what is this this is for a hole punch set for gaskets got that set i got the snap on 28 piece bushing driver set um a bunch of Grinding discs, um, a buffer from Harbor Freight that I don't use. Heat gun, another cheap grinder from Harbor Freight. Miscellaneous stuff in there. Down here, uh, my snap-on brake bleeder, vacuum brake bleeder. I really like that thing. Uh, battery, hydrometer, uh, transfer pump, more wire loom. Uh, kind of some more junk in here, too. So that is pretty much it for the big boxes of everything that I got. So we will show you my welding cart now, my little welding setup. All right, so my welder setup is my Eastwood MIG 250 MIG welder. Uh, runs off 120 or 240. 
Uh, I usually run it off 220. Uh, I like that a lot better. It welds anything from 20 gauge up to half inch of steel, 60% duty cycle. For what I do, this is the best bang for your buck right here. Love this thing. I end up getting the cart. Got some tools in here too. Uh, my tank in the back. I have a 80 Argon 20 CO2 mix in the back. I usually run 75-25 at work, but air gas is only able to give me 80-20. So that works out fine. Uh, Harbor Freight welding helmet. Um, going to the front, we have kind of like my essential drawer right here. I got all the tips. I got a MIG light. I got the little various tools. I got a metal gauge, diffusers, uh, all everything of that nature right here. In here, a bunch of wire brushes. I got some gloves, some pliers, stuff like that, of that nature. Then in here, I had that shoved in there. This is the converter for 110 to 220. Um, more gloves, welding jacket below. Got some cooter snot, gotta have that. Um, tape measure, stuff of that nature. And then my last one is my DeWalt grinder with the flap disc more flap discs and a bunch of various different clamps that I have in here that I use bunch of different stuff. So yeah, and that is it guys. That is my full toolbox tour. That's it. Oh, I almost forgot about my Milwaukee light right here. I ended up getting this bad boy. I like that. Oh yeah. That's it. That's my full toolbox tour. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Tap that subscribe button. Any support helps. Much appreciated. Uh, next time you see me, we'll be wrenching. I promise we'll be getting after it, you know? So hope you guys like something like this. Maybe I can do an update like once a year to show you my progress on what I'm getting, what I have, what I don't have, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, it's like a sore dick, man. Can't beat it. Peace, y'all.